everybody, Yelsa Farmer here and welcome back to my channel and South Brazilian map. Uh, we made a lot of money last night on selling silage bales to the BGA, over 400,000. So yeah, I need to pay back some loan. Let's see, how do I do that? Triangle. Ah, okay. So let's not get everything. Let's go down to. Yeah, we can take down to 50,000 maybe. We need some loan, you know, just to keep us uh, <laughs> on the top of it. So there we go. Um, my black beans here are finished, ready to harvest. They look a little bit withered but I guess this is how black beans look when they are finished and I also have that feel over here so what I am going to do is jump in the harvester and we can start getting some black beans in now I also read a couple of stories or uh, people having issue with this map uh, I don't know if that's due to the last, uh, there were an update to the map a couple of days ago, S but I have not downloaded the last update of the map, and I have not had any problems with this map, either with loading it or playing on it. So I don't know if the last update, if that's the one that's causing all the troubles, I don't know. So this is how this looks like. They are not big, these black bean plants. But anyway, the harvester is filling up. Not the highest deal I can see, but anywho. So I'll uh, crack on here and we also need, today I'm expanding a little bit, I really want, I like that area up to the left there, where I already have one field, so I'm gonna buy another field up there, I haven't decided which one yet, either the one to the left or to the right of my field. And we need to do some plowing in between and remove some trees. Uh, but anyway, I'll uh, crack on here. Maybe I just put it on the worker and see how it goes. It is pretty open around the, the field, so they should be alright. Maybe I take one headland here. And then I'll guess I'll see you at the shop and we need to lease ourselves some equipment so we have leased ourselves the lizard and a trailer And my harvester is full, so I also need to go and empty that one. I think, whoa, okay. You know what? This trailer here has a trick up its sleeves. If I press L1 and X, it extends in... There we go. That's better. I don't think this will uh, strap down, but anyway, we'll put them on just to be safe. So, let's see if we can get this up back to the farm. Ok, 
could be heavy up this hill, but anyway, that's why I took the biggest tractor I have. We're doing it, it's going slowly, but we're getting there. The T Rex is staying on. <laughs> so, yeah, we need to clear out some trees and we need to empty out our harvester. So, I'll uh, see you in a couple of minutes at the farm. So, there we go, and we can... Okay... What? I thought he was full. Yeah, he's full. Ah, he had stopped, so... So why don't you unload? Uh, do I need to manually unload it? Maybe pipe in and out will help. Sometimes those simple things. No. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's strange. Only there. Not there. I am straight over it, so to speak. What? Wait a minute. My trailer does take black beans. Uh, yeah. So, why does this not work? There we go. There we go. Ah, oh, that's some sweet... And then it stops. Hmm... Maybe this is some of the problems uh, players have been having. <laughs> that they can't even... Unload from the harvester. There we go. There is a sweet spot here someplace. There. there we go. Don't touch anything. Jump out. There we go. So, yeah. Kind of strange. But anyway, let's jump in here. And I, mm, I'm owning this field here. I am considering either buying the field to the right over there or this one. Looking at the map, I have this one, so should I expand to the south or to the north? Looking at the field prices, this one is quite expensive, 172. Well, not expensive, but it's not a big field. Whilst I can have this one for 95 and this one for 88, so I can get both of these two. For more or less the same price as this one. So I think I'm gonna buy at least this one and then that one. And the advantage with this one is that it also have had just black beans in it, same as mine. I am gonna harvest that now so they will get into the same stage. It also means that I need to get rid of all of these trees. 
So hopefully the T-Rex will take care of that. On some maps uh, there are some trees that can get a little bit difficult which the T-Rex doesn't like to eat up. No, nope, wrong button. There we go. Let's try this out. Ah, there we go. You don't have access to this land. No, I haven't bought it yet, but <laughs> I can remove the trees, apparently. There we go, it's working pretty good. And for those of you who haven't used this before, this is an excellent forest reaving machine that will not just cut down the trees, it will also remove the stubs as you can see. And afterwards you can plow between your fields and expand how much you want. Now there are some trees which... Well, it takes this one also. Wow. Yui. So this one you will find under forestry machines and it's called Lizard T-Rex 600 it's quite expensive to buy you don't use it that often so you're better off leasing it for 9690 and I think I have the stub still there yeah there we go and afterwards, uh, once you own the land, you can, you know, smooth out a little bit there. No, I don't own the land. I have to buy it. Let's go ahead and buy this field. Now I should be able to hopefully remove these bushes. Yeah, there you see. So it's a great idea to go over like so afterwards and then you can check if there are more stubs whoop, whoop, you know to get rid of before you plow in between. So I'll keep chopping down these trees and in parallel I need to get my harvester going. Phew. wasn't easy to see so then let's just do like so this is not cheating it's just doing some handwork with my chainsaw oh I cannot smoothen her okay that doesn't look promising oh there we go It's all about finding the right spot and once you find it just let go of everything I think I got it so I'll see you in a bit
so there we go now it should be ready now let's just do a quick check with this one oh, no wrong button not race oh mama oh that's why the landscaping tool can be <laughs> a little bit oh i need my help window i totally got it wrong I press X. That's racing. Ooh, maybe I need to smooth it out a little bit. Can I lower it? Yeah, let's lower it down and get it. There we go. Smooth out. And then smooth out over here. See if there are any more stubs left. Seems to be... Oh, there we got one. Oh, also there. Ooh. Okay, I'm glad I did not return this one. downhill is yeah we got it there we go so that should be all uh, if I'm gonna buy the other field over here let's see if I'm gonna expand even to this field I don't need to remove any trees over there I'm just thinking before I deliver back the T-Rex I think I'm gonna keep my palms over here. I don't need to remove anything here. Not that much trees over here. So yeah, I think maybe we can try to remove these ones as long as we have the T-Rex here. I'm not gonna buy that field yet, but maybe it's an open area where you can cut down the trees. And also, the worker is going, but as you can see, he also <laughs> went into my field over here. So you better you better have the same crop in both of them. And I guess that will also be the case when you're doing sowing or seeding that you just have to be aware of that it can jump over to the other field, the workers. So let's try these ones. Don't have access to this land, but it's chopping down the tree. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. There we go. So now it is ready to be plowed together with the other fields. When we come to that stage, I don't know if this is legal, but you know, maybe we are doing the local government uh, favor of removing these trees. I don't know if I can landscape her. Let's see. I don't own this land yet. No. So. Ooh, we just need to take a chance here, I think. Drop it all the way to the ground and see if we are stopping into anything. There we go. So I'm gonna return this one we and we're gonna continue on with the black bean harvest. And I'll see you. So this now is ready to be plowed. Uh, something really strange happened. Uh, I went 
to grab myself uh, some food and I save the game and I turn it off and then when I turn it on again I realized that I might just uh, update the, f the map itself so I did nothing big changes um, except this one here these trees here I just removed and they have regrown so I don't know if these trees here are meant to be there or I don't know I'm puzzled and also on this end where I removed three or four palm trees one of them has regrown so I don't know if I should try to remove them one more time or just leave it like that and at least when I have lit a little bit more money I can also buy this field because here I can definitely plow in between so yeah the reason why I uploaded the uh, update of the map were that Hopefully this now will um, offload a little bit better and also now you are able to sell oats. When I did the map tour on this one there were no sell points for oats. But now if we jump in here you can see doo -doo -doo, white wheat barley oats. Yeah. So now we can sell that on the main sell points. So yeah, so I think the plan now is to... I'm gonna harvest this one and then I think I'm gonna use the challenger and put some new crops into the ground on this field, on my new field. Whoa, look at the header suddenly jumped up maybe that's the flexible header <laughs> okay interesting yeah uh, and I like I think I'm gonna try uh, one other new crop I think my cedar can do it or do I have to lease myself a planter which is called the uh, Sorbum or Borsum, I don't know, I don't remember. It's one of the three new crop types on this map. Or I just do uh, rice. I see that this header doesn't go all the way down to the ground. Maybe that's the flexibility of this let's see let's raise it and take it down okay uh, it seems to be taking it all so anywho I'll be cracking on here and then uh, we'll do some seeding afterwards So let's try something new. Let's see soybeans, grass, rice, black bean. Should we cut? There we go, sorghum. Because I also read in the description of the map that sorghum you can also make silage of. So if I'm going into cows. I can have silage from this product and sell it. Uh, as we seen in the last episode, <coughs> silage pays out really good at the BGA, 1500 per thousand liter. So I think I'll do 
Sorg him at least on this big field and I'll see what I do for those two over there oh I missed a bit this articulate tractor is sometimes pain in the ass to do jobs like this with it's so wiggling I might change it out even though I don't have that much money uh, I still owe 50,000 to the bank uh, but yeah I am looking at maybe changing it out already uh, I bought it because uh, cost efficiency is really good you get a lot of horsepower for less money uh, and it has some <laughs> really nice wheels and rims but the operability of it it's not that good I think so yeah we'll see I think this sorghum is you need a planter to do uh, now this cedar which I have the Great Plains 4025 I think it's called uh, does both all your normal seeding products but, all, but it's also a planter so it does corn sunflowers and sorghum sorghum so here also you <laughs> I've experienced that you really need to do at least one maybe two headlands yourself because uh, if you don't you see the lines which direction it goes into if you put the worker on it too early they will drive straight over to my other field over there where I might not have sorghum so Maybe I should put up a wall here. Some rocks, maybe. Anywho. Oh, let's see. How is... I see it's blinking. The harvester. So it's probably 80% full. But yeah, we have some... A lot of seeding to be done. And there I'm out of fertilizer. Okay, I didn't. <laughs> I need to pay attention. What I could do is. Uh, do, 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 do. You know what? Let's try something here. Uh, I wonder if I can get. To disconnect to the front lifter, not like this. Uh, if I could get the front lifter on and then the additional tank on, I could get some extra fertilizer. Or, yeah, I'll try that. I think I just need to sort out this one and I'll come back if I manage to do it. So I put the front lifter down here, so let, I think this should work, there we go, so now <laughs> I have a hidden front lift 3 point attacher, so now let's try to get in that narrow garage. Hopefully this will connect, maybe it looks a little bit strange, but there we go. Ooh. Okay, so now I have additional tank and it seems to be the fertilizer, which is... So let's see, can I now uh, open that one? Uh, o 
open cover and fill it with fertilizer seed fertilizer yes but does it connect to my cedar uh, do, 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 do. now let's jump into the cedar Oh man, of course, that liquid fertilizer on this one. Ah, that doesn't help at all with this front tank. Okay, so. And I need to get some seed. That's always a little bit tricky with this container. Uh, yeah, I don't need this front tank, oh, that's for sure. Uh, how did I get the liquid? No, the liquid fertilizer. No, the seed, I mean. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, this tractor with this wiggling back. Why can I... Can't I get seed up? <sighs> Open cover then, maybe. Let's go gently back and get seed. No. Okay, so let me just fiddling around a little bit here and I'll come back. So, you're thinking, what in the world are he, is he doing now? Well, I did not get any seed in my cedar, so I have a last solution. I don't know why this is not working, even though it sets seeds in here. It's been working on other maps, but anywho, I have another solution. If you go to placeables and miscellaneous and you download a seed mod called the pioneer seeds this is a placeable so you can you don't have to go to the shop to get it so you can place those like so not they don't they cannot stay that close to each other but anyway I'm gonna need a couple of these there we go and also <laughs> the tanker that I've got here now it's a uh, additional liquid fertilizer tank which of course does not hook up now ah this is really a struggling day uh, okay, so we need to do like so. We need to give the other guy the front lifter uh, this way. It's one of those days, isn't it? Du -du -du. This should work. The only thing it's upside down more or less. 
Oh, come on. <laughs> oh my god. I'm selling that challenge off, that's for sure. I need a big tractor with a solid front three point attacher. Like so. There we go. So now I have, I think it is 1500 liters extra of fertilizer, solid uh, liquid fertilizer. Let's see. There we go. 1500 liter of extra fertilizer. And now we need to fill it up with seeds. And this wobbling ass, <laughs> so to speak. So now we can at least fill up with seeds on this one. There we go. Pallets is going away. There we go. So now we are ready again. And my harvester is full. He's been waiting on me. So yeah. I don't know if it's me or me today or this map, but nothing seems to be working properly. But anyway, mysterious trees and you know, I'm gonna pass this field here and then I'm gonna put the worker on it. Bam! And he's going up there. Okay. Now this tractor I'm gonna keep, this one is pretty cool, even when it's dirty. Now let's see if the offloading works now, with the new map updated. No, of course not. So I need to find the sweet spot in my trailer all the way on the front here wasn't it no there no not there there that's the only spot I can load into <sighs> Anywho, I'll crack on a little bit here and I'll see you in a bit. I need to go out to my balcony or terrace here and get some fresh air. Because now I'm really hot. Let's jump here. And I'll see you in a bit. The worker isn't doing a uh, pretty bad, or oh, he's doing a good job actually. So I'm gonna leave him to that, and I prepared my Valtra now with the fertilizer because my grass field, it's only 50%. I need to go out there to check it because in my map menu, I don't get up growth. I get the colors, but not and nothing on the right side, hand side, and I don't get the fertilization stage. So there's something wrong with my menu. Everything is uh, not going as planned today. But anyway, and also to top it all up, let's just check this one first. If you see on the run hours, all the way down to the bottom right, it says 2.2 hours. I've been using this and I have a full tank of fuel. I haven't done anything. This bad boy here has gone 3 hours and the fuel is <laughs> more or less empty. 
So, this is a really expensive tractor to keep with fuel, even though fuel isn't that expensive, but anyway, if it were in real life. So, I'm gonna fertilize over here. And hopefully, let's just double check that I'm getting 100% back here now. Let's go over here. Yeah, hundred percent. So yeah, uh, puzzling day. Anyway, we did get some harvesting done. Uh, I got in total fifty-five thousand liter of black beans, and they are currently selling for around two thousand per liter. So a little bit over. Uh, 100,000 for those two fields. I bought myself a third field. Uh, I might change out the big challenger. I also need to find myself a better solution for uh, seeds since the blue container doesn't work apparently on this field. Oh, that's the hump. Bump. Or maybe the blue container only gives... Um, no, I have got seed out of that before, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, uh, I think that will be it for today's episode. Uh, <laughs> it's been a strange one, but anywho. I'll thank you for watching. And hopefully I'll see you back here or at Lone Oak on the next video. Bye bye.